The United Nations Security Council is set to hold a closed-door meeting Tuesday to discuss the military overthrow of Sudan's transitional government. And standing by live now from the United Nations with a preview of the meeting is VOA UN correspondent Margaret Bishir. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Esther. A lot of concern here about the situation in Sudan, especially it was a few weeks before uh, the handover to civilian control. Very unhappy about the trend here. Uh, the Secretary General, I asked him about it this morning at a news conference. Uh, let's take a listen to what he had to say. About Sudan, I once again strongly condemned the uh, forceful military takeover of power in Sudan. Uh, and I urge, of course, uh, all stakeholders to exercise mass maximum restraint. But the prime minister and other officials that were unlawfully detained must be released immediately. And um, uh, it's true that Sudan has achieved important milestones. They cannot be reversed. And so it is essential that all transitional arrangements and institutions as defined uh, in the constitutional document be uh, reinstated. Uh, the civilian military partnership is critical. It needs to be uh, re-established at the level uh, at, uh, with which it was uh, established. And I think the Sudanese people has shown very clearly their intense desire for reform uh, and democracy. Margaret, a very quick turnaround of events in Sudan, but we're also learning there, uh, and you can give us a more insight into this, that the UN Security Council is also expressing concern over upheavals in Africa and coups that we have seen lately. What more are you learning? Uh, that was the Secretary General, actually, Esther. Uh, the Secretary General, I asked him uh, as part of my question what lessons the uh, United Nations and the international community can learn from other coups we've witnessed this year, particularly in Asia, in Myanmar, also known as Burma. Um, that country, the military, took over on February 1st. And since then, we've seen a tremendous clamping down on human rights. More than 1,000 people have died. It's gone in a very bad direction, uh, and it has not been reversed. And the Secretary General said he's concerned about what he called a multiplication of coup d'etats, and he also referred to them as an epidemic. And he said, uh, we've also seen them in Africa. And you might recall there have been two coups in Mali in the last year. We've seen them in Guinea and Chad. So uh, he said that it's a, a combination of factors, um, the effects of COVID-19 and, in some cases, social and economic effects of the pandemic. But he also pointed a, a finger at the the Security Council because he said that they have disunity amongst the members, uh, particularly I think he's referring to the five permanent members, and uh, that their disunity prevents strong action when these things happen in the in the first days and hours of these sorts of events. And so uh, maybe that was a little hint to them before they meet this afternoon that they need to uh, be strong and be united in the message and the signals that they send. And so we're expecting uh, Volker Perthes, who's the uh, Secretary General's representative in Sudan, to speak uh, to the meeting. It's a private meeting. He will brief them from Khartoum today and uh, give them an update on the situation.